When we take a piece of material like uh, this steel, originally you can imagine inside the steel is a whole series of little tiny bar magnets that we're going to call domains. And normally these domains are all just pointing in random directions, so they all cancel out. But if we um, put a magnet nearby, we can arrange them so that they all line up. And we've created um, for a moment this to turn this into a magnet. Um, if I take it away and they all jumble up again like so, then this is called a soft magnetic material. So in this case, the domains have all jumbled up again, so they're all cancelling out and there's no magnetism left. So this would be a soft magnetic material such as iron. So when they um, put the magnet nearby, we line all the domains up inside the iron and we could turn it into a magnetic material and it will stick to the magnet like so. But when we take the magnet away, they all jumble up again and the field um, cancels out so it's no longer magnetized. So it won't stick to another piece of metal, for example. So if I put another piece of metal there, it won't stick to it. Now in a hard magnetic material, the same happens, so all, originally all the domains are jumbled up and all cancelling each other out. But when I bring inside a magnetic field, they line them up. Now the difference is, this time, is that once I take the magnet away, so once I take the magnet away, they stay lined up. So I still have a magnetic material here. So this is a steel, for example, does this. So the, um, we think that the carbon inside of the iron atoms traps the domains in place so that it remains magnetic. So um, this is called a hard magnetic material because it remains magnetized, um, whereas iron is a soft magnetic material because once I take the magnetic field away, uh, they, it all loses its magnetism. Now, there are important uses for hard magnetic materials. So for example, making a bar magnet needs to be a permanent magnet. So we would use a hard magnetic material. But equally important is sometimes we need to turn magnets on and off. So if we have a, an electromagnet, we need to be able to switch it on and off. So um, iron is equally useful um, to do that for us.